Okay, so in this video tutorial, we're going to talk about how to do arithmetic in Linux shell scripts. Um, and so what I have here is um, a couple of variables, one with the value 25, and you can see the other values. And I want to add A plus B and have the results stored inside of the C variable. Okay, so to do that, of course, you would think that this would be possible by just simply saying A plus B. And of course, you remember that you have to have the dollar sign when you're using your variables. And at the same time, when you're declaring variables, you should always have no spaces in between either the left or the right of the assignment operator. So let's go ahead and display what the value of C is. I've already made my uh, file, my script, an executable by doing change mod plus x and shell map.sh. If we run the program, we see that we get 25 plus 40. You see, what this basically does is treat this entire thing as a string. But that's not what we want. We want it to be the actual mathematical value, it, to be treated as a mathematical value as opposed to a string. So let's change that. How we do that is by using two double uh, braces one at the beginning and one at the end, opening and closing. And now we can go ahead and say C will equal the value of A plus the value of B. Now we've just done arithmetic and now we can do compiler program and now we get 65 as opposed to what we had before. Um, so let's do something else. Um, this is just one of two versions that I know of to do arithmetic in Linux shell scripts. Uh, so this is version 1 and here there's another, val there's another version as you can say C will equal to A plus B plus a thousand if you want just to change it up a little bit so now this is going to override the value stored in here and this sets C into a new value so let's just print out the old value of C before we do the new one let's say um, version 1 and this is going to be version 2 okay so notice how I have only a single or the double Notice how I only have the double uh, braces and, and the double quotations. The double quotations allow you to display, uh, well, what I want to say, dynamic variables inside of your string so that this is not treated as a literal, it's treated as something for C to be replaced with. Okay, so let's go back to our compiler after saving this. And I'll show you what I mean in a second. And of course we have an error. So let's try to figure out why we have an error. Um, the reason why we have an error is because here there's nothing right there. I meant to put B in there. So let's just go back and correct this. Now we save. Go ahead and compile. So now instead of version 1 was 65, version 2 we added a thousand to be 160, uh, 1065 so really the main point here is that there's two versions to do um, arithmetic out of this version or you can use the let keyword let allows you to do arithmetic by whatever expression follows it at the same time I talked about the difference between double uh, quotations and single single quotations. Let's change this to single quotations and see what happens to the output of the program. Now if we run it again, I, I keep getting errors for some reason. Uh, so if I come back here and I change this, I should now have no errors because everything is now syntactically correct. Boom. 
All right, so it's treating C. Instead of replacing C with that value stored inside of C, every everything in here is treated as a literal. So whatever it sees is whatever it prints. So that's the main difference between double quotes and single quotes. So um, to finish off this tutorial, let's just show how to do a while loop to display a message and to utilize what we just learned and apply to something useful. Let's say we want to print out hello world a, a couple times. So how we do that is by declaring a variable i to be to start with the value of zero. another way to do arithmetic. At the same time you can also change this to say let i plus plus and that will also change it. Alright so that's going to be it for this tutorial. Please leave a comment below and remember to subscribe and rate. Thank you.